Alright, so we are now on part 2 of our lecture in the physical properties of solutions. So, prepare your calculators because from this point on, magsosolve na tayo. So, let me introduce first the concept of concentration units. So, the concentration of a solution is the amount of solute present in a given quantity of solvent or solution. So, pag concentration, ang pinag-uusapan natin doon is, gaano ba kadami yung solute na nakadissolve doon sa solvent? So, kailan mo sinasabing concentrated ang solution? Pag mataas yung amount ng solute na nakadissolve doon sa solvent, dilute siya. Dilute ang solution kapag konti lang yung amount ng solute na nakadissolve doon sa ating solvent. So, I hope that is very clear, no? So now let us do the first batch of calculation. So let me introduce the percent by mass. So percent by mass, this is the formula. Mass of solute over mass of solute plus mass of solvent times 100. You can also write it as mass of solute over mass of solution times 100. So ang ginagawa ko, pag nagsusulat ako ng formulas, nilalagay ko na yung unit para hindi ko nakakalimutan. So ilagay natin dito, gram ng solute. Tapos, dito sa baba, gram ng solution times 100. So, ano yung gram ng solution? That is, gram of solute plus gram of solvent. Ayan. Napakadali, no? Try to memorize these formulas. Next, percent by volume. So, volume of solute over volume of solution times 100. Percent volume is equal to ml ng solute over ml ng solution. So, pag sinabi mong ml ng solution, so ml ng solute plus ml ng solvent times 100. Now, we go to percent mass over volume. So, this is equal to grams of solute over the ml of solution times 100. Ayan. So, um, mahalaga na alam ninyo yung units kasi dimensional analysis pa din to eh. So, kung hindi nakagram, kailangan natin, ay kung hindi nakagram at nakakilogram, kailangan natin i-convert sa gram, syempre, para mag-cancel yung ating units. So, let's try answering this problem. Though, alam ko may sagot na siya, pero ipapakita ko pa din yung solution, no? A solution was prepared by dissolving 34.5 grams of sugar in 125 grams of water. What is the concentration of the solution in percent by mass? So, ang first step, Pag nagsasagot tayo ng mga problems na ganito, syempre, dapat i-identify mo muna kung sino si solute at si solvent. So, kung nalilito ka kung sino si solute at si solvent, ang gawin mo is tingnan mo kung sino yung mas marami at kung sino yung mas konti. So, in this case, yung mas konti, laging siya si solute. So, ang mas konti dito is si 34.5 grams ng ating sugar. So, ito ang ating solute. And then, yung isa, 125 grams ng water. So, di hamak na mas madami naman ito. This will be your solvent. Now, calculate the percent by mass. Write the formula first. Percent by mass is equal to what? Grams of solute over grams of solution times 100. O, direct substitution lang to. So, percent by mass is equal to gram ng solute, 34.5 grams, O pag gram ng solution, di ba yan ay gram ng solute plus gram ng solvent. So, 34.5 grams plus 125 grams. So, times 100, this is equal to what? Ayan, type pa rin natin sa ating calculators, no? So, yung calculators ninyo, dapat pinipindot nyo yan lagi para masanay kayo. So, this is equal to 21.6%. Ayan. Ano ang unit? Percent. Kasi minultiply natin ito sa 100. So, as for the other types of calculation, di ba may percent by volume pa tayo, tsaka percent mass over volume, ididiscuss natin ito no, in a separate video. Magpa-practice lang kayo nung mga problem solvings nun. So, now let us go to concentration units based on moles. So, tatlo yan. Mole fraction, molarity, molality. So, dito sa mole fraction, molarity and molality, ang mahalaga dito is naaalala pa ninyo kung paano mag-convert ng grams to moles and moles to gram. Yun lang talaga yun, no? Yun lang yung concept nito. So, let us first study mole fraction. So, ang, ang formula ng ating mole fraction is... Moles of A over sum of moles of all components. Sige, i-elaborate natin ito no, para hindi tayo mahirapan mamaya. 
So, pag-usapan muna natin yung mole fraction. So, imagine ninyo, meron akong baso na naman na may laman na tubig. Nilagyan ko ng sugar. sabi natin, yung component A natin is si sugar. Tapos, component B ko is si... Si... Asin. Si sodium chloride. O, yan. How many components do I have? I have three components kasi may, pang, may pangatlo pa eh. Yung pangatlo ko is yung tubig, yung water, yung H2O. So, how do you get the mole fraction of that? Kung ilan yung components mo, ganun kadami yung mole fraction mo. So, dito, tatlo yung aking components. So, tatlo yung aking calculations na mole fraction. So, the formula is, say for example, we want to get the mole fraction of A. So, that is mole fraction of A is equal, hindi yan X ha, ganito ang itsura nung mole fraction natin. So, the mole fraction of A is mole of A, laging ganun yun, kung kanino yung mole na hinahanap, siya yung nasa taas. Mole of A over the sum of moles of all components. So, ilan yung components ko? Tatlo. So, this is mole ni A plus mole ni B plus mole ni C. So, if I ask you to get the mole fraction of sodium chloride, so that is your component B, so, the mole fraction of B would be mole ni sodium chloride or mole ni component B. Ganun pa din. Sum of all the components. Mole ni A plus mole ni B plus mole ni C. Same goes, get the mole fraction of component C. That would be mole ni C over mole of A, B, and C. Yan. Very easy to understand, no? So, ang problema mo lang dito is pag ang binigay sa problem ay nakagram. Siyempre, magko-convert ka itong mole. So, kung hindi na naaalala kung paano mag-convert ng mole to gram and gram to mole, please go back to the video before this lesson, no? Para mabalikan ninyo. Now, molarity. Okay, so alam na natin yung concept ng ating mole fraction, no? Punta tayo sa molarity. Pag molarity class, ang formula is moles of solute. Ayan, symbolized by capital M. So, moles of solute, mole ng solute over liter of solution. So, kung ang iyong solution, ang unit niya ay naka-ML, kailangan i-convert mo yan to liter. So, dapat pati yung conversion of units ninyo, hindi nyo yan kinakalimutan. Next, molality. Molality is symbolized by small letter M. So, this is molar. This is molal. Ayan. So, le small letter M. So, ang formula naman ito is mol ng solute over kilograms of solvent. Ayan. So, take note, no? Dito, solution. Dito, solvent. Ayan. So, on our next session, we will be answering sample problems. Ayan.